You keep playing the same D's, G's, B minors, and A's over and over again, and you feel like you're ready for something new. The key of D is a wonderful key for guitar players, especially if you understand how the guitar works and you can get outside the box a little bit and find new ways to play those pesky old chords. The best part is this is not complicated at all. In fact, we're only gonna use three shapes to play eight chords. The shapes are very simple. With very little practice, you can do these in your sleep. So, let's do this. So the trick to using these chords I'm gonna show you in the key of D is keeping this D string open on all of them. Yes, that's right, all of them. And as I said before, we're only gonna use three shapes to make all eight of these chords. So let's start with shape number one and the mighty D chord. All right, up till now you've always played it here. And that's fine, it's a great chord, but allow me to show you this. your brand new D chord. And this will be the shape we use for three of our new chords. And through the camera, I can hear you groaning and moaning, and some of you are like, no, not the thumb. Using the thumb is my preference. I love to use the thumb, I use it all the time, but I know it's not for everyone. The good news here is that the thumb is actually not a requirement. You can do all these chords with your index, just as easily, like that. So whether you're a thumber, like me, or an anti-thumber, what we have is, E string, that'll be the 10th fret. We have the open D string. 11th fret G string. And a 10th fret B string. Now played together, you have that. So you might notice we're only playing four strings. I didn't play the E string, and the A string I skipped over. Now, the A string is actually muted by my thumb. My thumb is touching it, so if I played it, you would just hear nothing, right? Just a weird sound. Uh, or if you're using your index, it's muted by the back of your index, okay? So you actually want a finger to touch it softly, but um, not to press it, because you don't want to hear it, just touch it. So thumb or index, either way, the, uh, the A string is muted. And same goes with the E string down here, okay? So I'm actually muting it with the back of my middle finger. My middle finger is touching it so that it doesn't make a sound, okay? So when I play, it's just, it's only those you hear. Even if I do full strum, you hear that I'm only hearing those four strings. So you want to work on that, make sure you don't hear. Now, both the A and the E string, they do not ruin any of these chords, thankfully, because both of those notes are in the key of D. But they just make it a little muddier, a little messier, and generally I avoid them unless I... Sometimes I'll hit that high E. Because it does make a nice chord, but it, it changes the D chord. So we're gonna we're not gonna hit it today. So we have our first shape making this high D chord. And holding that shape, we'll make our next two chords, the first of which will be an A chord. Alright? So just hold the shape and slide down all the way until you hit the fifth fret of the E string right there. So now my thumb is on the fifth fret. Again, you can do this with your index, and you have the same exact shape. You can do an open E here or an open A because in this case, an E and an A are both in an A chord, so you can totally do that. I, I tend to keep them muted and just do the same thing here um, just because I don't want too many notes and things start to get funky, especially if your tuning is not perfectly on. You can you could sort of hear it when I played that earlier, but um, anyway, so this is, we're now rocking an A chord. This is a really cool A because it has this added fourth here with the open D. It's technically an A add four. So it doesn't work great in other keys um, because of that fourth, but it works great, really nice when your song is in the key of D. And we're working key of D today, so it works really good. So use this A chord when your song is in the key of D and sound really nice and warm. Moving on to your next chord, hold this shape and slide down until your top note hits the third fret of the E string. And again, you can do this with your index, I do it with my thumb. And right here we have this mellow, warm, G chord. Just beautiful with that open string. So that's your three chords there. D, A, and G. Okay, that was shape number one. That's three chords down. We got five more to go. Let's move on to shape number two. Now the second shape here is gonna give us an E minor and a B minor. Now the E minor is, I'll be honest, I end up muting the D string a lot in this one. I didn't mention that before. But just because this D, note D is actually lower 
then our bass note here. Now, so you could do, this one's tricky, because you could do and have an E minor like that or that, but that open D is a little bit jarring. So to be honest, I usually tend to mute it, and I'm usually playing this with finger picking like this. But for today, I'm just gonna mute those two strings with my index, just touch them soft and just play. And you can have an open E here too. All right, so that's probably my least favorite of all these chords I'm showing you, but it's still useful and you can use it from time to time, especially finger picking when you get into like the D. Right, it's pretty nice right there. So I still show it to you. Now hold this position, slide down until we hit the seventh fret now, and you've got a beautiful B minor. I use this all the time, it sounds so good. So again, the E minor, We'll end up muting these two strings and just playing. And then sliding down here and opening it up to the B minor. Again, not really hitting the E string. And that's it for our second shape. We've got one shape left, which will cover our last three chords. But let me add that if you're enjoying this, you really should make sure to check out my other video where I teach new chords in the key of G. That's totally new chords than what I'm showing here. And a lot, it's gotten a ton of positive feedback. It's helped a lot of people. I think it probably helped you too. Watch that one after you finish this video. Our last shape covers inversions of chords. Each of these last three chords have a root or bass note that is actually the third of the chord. So in some ways it's the same chords we already learned but they're inverted so they sound totally different so I still count them as new chords. Um, I'm gonna explain that as we go but uh, make this shape exactly as I'm doing and, and it'll make sense in a second. So it's gonna be similar to what we did on shape 2 but instead of doing this on the ninth fret you're gonna stick your pinky out one fret and you're gonna play. Now you might feel like that dissonance is a little bit too much for you and I get that. I like to use it from time to time I think it sounds cool. That is an A over C sharp. Technically an A add four over C sharp because of the D here. Uh, but it's an over C sharp here. This could also be called a D major nine, but we're gonna stick with A add four over C sharp. And what that means is yes, it's an A chord, but instead of having an A as the lowest note, the bass note, which is what we would have in normal root position, this A chord has a C sharp in the bass. Okay, so hold this shape this A over C sharp, and slide down two frets until you hit the seventh fret here on your, in your middle. And you've got a G over B. For our last chord, we're gonna slide down here to the second fret, and you've got a D over F sharp. Uh, I use my thumb and just do a D chord and put my thumb here a lot, but if you're working from this position, you can just slide it straight down and you hit it there. I use this particular chord, D over F sharp, pretty much every day. Now all these chords are no use if you're not comfortable playing them and shifting between them. So let me show you a cool progression where you can practice moving between them that sounds really good and help you build your skills with these new chords. Okay, so the progression we're gonna do here, we're gonna start up here on the E minor. We're gonna basically slide down and back and slowly work our way down the, down the neck. Okay, so we got an E minor. Then we'll go down to the A over C sharp with that added fourth then a D chord you can use your index, I like my thumb, then down to the B minor, A sharp, A, B minor, G, A, D over F sharp, and then we'll go up to the G over B, and up to the A over C sharp, and finish with the D. I'll do a strum pattern here. I'll just play down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. Very classic strum pattern. Here we go. Three, four. new chords, only three shapes, key of D played in a brand new fashion. Again, if you enjoyed this, make sure you check out my video with the key of G with other new chords played in new ways. I know that you'll love it. I'm Kyle Scott. Thank you so much for watching today, and I'll see you on my next video.